So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Episode 20 of The Masterly. We're going to continue here. We've got Transfer Deadline Day, which I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with, with the old Deadline Day today. Uh, but then we're taking on Valencia and Elche, all right? And then after that, we continue the series, right? That's it, simple as that. So if you guys want to watch the old school videos that I've been putting out, fantastic. I will probably put a few more of those out, like the old UEFA Champions League game. I think this is football is a big one you guys have been saying to go back and play. If I can find ROMs for it, I will put those videos out. If you don't want to watch them, then don't watch them, folks. Just watch the Master League. And if you prefer the Master League, then watch it and vice versa. It's, it's really up to you. But I've got to try and keep the content fresh because Konami will not put out any PES 2020 news. Why? Where's the news? Come on. Anyway, before we do get into it, I wanted to talk real quick. I'll make this quick because I'll blabber on otherwise. Sort of about me going from legend to superstar, okay? And the reason I've done this, as I said, is I'm sick and tired of getting cheated. I know a lot of you like to see me complain, and it's more enjoyable. But I also don't want to become the type of channel where that's all you see. Me whining and complaining and bitching. I don't want to be like that. I just want to enjoy the game. I want you guys to watch my channel because you enjoy the entertainment. You like watching me play, maybe on manual or not, whatever. You, you like my persona and my commentary, not because I'm whining non-stop. It's not what I love to do. Ask me girlfriend. I don't complain with her a lot, if at all. In fact, I like to joke around with her. It's the kind of person I am. I'm a jokey person. That's why with name pronunciation and all that, I don't really care. I'll give players nicknames just for the fun of it. And if you guys like that, fantastic. If you get offended by it, well, I'm sorry. You know, there's more important things in life than worrying about a name. So yeah, this is why I've dumbed it down to Superstar for the time being. Doesn't mean we won't go back to Legend maybe next season, but for the time being, while we're growing this team, I'm going to play on Superstar because it doesn't cheat me out of it. There's no, there's no like handicap when it comes to like physical attributes and winning headers and the speed of the game and the stamina. I feel like it's more of a level playing field. If I lose matches, I lose them. If I don't, I don't. That's, that's how it's going to happen. All right, folks, let me get that out of the way. All right, we will be back for Legend, but just just stick with me. That's all I ask. Okay, so we're making a big decision here. I've spoken to Luigi. You know, I've spoken to him on the old blower. And uh, I don't think we're going to buy anyone else, folks. I really don't think I want to buy anyone else because I don't, number one, know who to get. I know you guys have all been giving me recommendations. I already bought a big tall forward that we don't need a forward anymore. And then we've already got left backs and right backs that we've already bought, what, four players technically since we started this playthrough. There's no one on this scouting list that's grabbing me by the gonads and saying, "Where, hey, hey, Ricky, give him a bash. No, 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 no. So I just don't think we need to. So if we have a look at our team, I know we have all these offers, like he has about 90 odd million, and you're probably saying we'll buy him, or sorry, sell him. I don't want to sell Yazabal. I want to. I want to push him. Poor two. I know we could sell him as well, and I keep saying I'm going to. But I think I will give these players like Poor two and uh, Baron till the end of the season. Let's see what they do. If they do nothing, then we can sell them. All right. If they do something, then we can keep them. Might be a little bit harsh to just get rid of them willy nilly, like I did with the Everton playthrough. Likewise, Guevara. You know, he's still 24. There may be some potential there. I mean, Thibaut Mendy's a good player. He's only 22. Ultimately, I want to see how I can do with the young lads here for the rest of the season. And then we're going to go from there. So I am going to, for the first time ever, not pick up anyone. I'm just going to click next and skip through. I don't care about any other offers. I'm going to leave it for now. All right. Hopefully you guys don't get upset. But I want to actually see how we, how we do for the rest of the season. All right, so best of the 11. There we go. Monthly training report, January earnings. Negotiations have failed and doodly, doodly, doodly. Now, before we do get into today's lineup, let's actually go to training real quick and see what is happening with some of these players. So let's do this by position because it's easier. Right, so Luigi right now is doing focus training. As you can see, we've got his speed, his accelerations up to an 88. His, speeds, his speed could be better. And his stamina is an 89. He's not doing bad, I think. I will keep this for now with Luigi. I don't want to change him. Uh, I still want to keep the speed going because he he's a speed player for us, whereas like sort of Anachu's the, the player that wins all the headers. Um, Izek, 
is right now uh, a target man, or I think we're trying to make him a target man, just because I'm trying to work on his jump uh, and all that stuff. Someone said to make Anachu a, uh, what was it, a goal poacher? Like, work on his acceleration. I mean, we probably don't need to worry about his physical attributes. He's already a 90. We could work on his speed. Obviously, his finishing would be a good one as well. All right, we'll go ahead and do him as a goal poacher for now. I mean, poor two, we did as a roaming flank because we're playing quite narrow. Likewise, Yanazai is a creative playmaker. He should be back some point in a few weeks' time because we have missed him a lot. Uh, Baron, we've got as a roaming flank. I don't really know what else to do with him. And then David Silva, Sangali. I put Iramendi as an anchor man because I think it suits him more. Uh, and Marino's kind of a box to box. I mean, Vice, uh, right now with him, we are going for the jump physical. We're, we're basically doing the stamina because they are playing as, or we are playing as attacking fullback. So him and Daldia, we're just working on their stamina for the time being and Garosable as well. Uh, and once it gets to maybe a 90, then we can uh, start changing it. Uh, and then Tavares as well, still doing the same thing. All right, so there's a little bit of an update of what's going on. Uh, regarding the skill training. All right, so today's match, taking on the Valencia. It's not going to be an easy game. Oh, blimey, the two midfielders uh, aren't down, and Luigi's not up for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me pick a lineup, and we shall return. All right, the lineup today. As I say, the form's not great. It's not great, ladies and gents, uh, but we're going to have to deal with what we have. The only good news is Visa and Tavares are both on the form. We're going to still be using attacking fullbacks up and down the old flankities, uh, and we'll see how we do with that one. Uh, and then in the middle, we go Marino today. He'll play as a DMF because Ilaramendi's on a red form. Uh, David Silva, Ayazabal, and Sengali. And what, we'll try this. I mean, I'd rather play David Silva as sort of a, a, maybe an AMF, but then it drops Sengali down, and he's, he's technically a hole player. He's going to sort of fit in the hole. So... Yeah, we'll, we'll try this. You know, we still have enough quality there. Yazabao's got good feet. David Silva has. And then we go for Luigi uh, and Anachu. Anachu. Anuachu. I think it is Anuachu. That's what we're going to call him. Oh, someone said his first name was Paul. <laughs> but that doesn't really fit. Um, Paulie. We could call him Paulie. You know what I mean? What do you guys reckon? Uh, but yeah, we're going to try those two up top today. Um, Isaac on the bench. Poor two will be on the bench as well. Uh, and then we'll have the... I mean, these two are up for it. But honestly, I'd rather play Visa with the performance that he pulled out the old bag in the last match. So that will do. There's a look at Valencia. They're playing the standard 4-4-2 formation. I uh, forgot to look where they are on the table. Uh, I'll let you know once we get into the match. Uh, but we shall give them their lovely orange kit. Yeah, why not? Why not the old tasty orange? That looks good to me. All right, I will see you guys there. Let's get this underway. And hopefully today we can perform once again. So back once more, uh, Valencia are actually three points behind us. So this is a big match. If we win, we go six points ahead of them. If we lose, we're on the same points. And no, I haven't learned the words yet. Uh, here we go, ready? And I know I should learn the words, but I have trouble speaking English, let alone uh, Spanish. There's the old pink boots in full effect. Oh, that's enough of that. We've heard it many, many times. Anyway, here we go. So, yeah, big, big match today. Let's see how the lads perform. Actually, when I'm recording this, uh, England are actually playing today. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see how the English get on against the Scotland. What do you guys think? I think England will have enough, but I think it should be a very tasty match. Right, watch this for a switch. Absolute whopper of a pass, that is. Tavares picks it up. Fires it in, looking for the big man. Oh, well, that would have been a goal and a half, wouldn't it? Switch, long ball, bash, back of the net. But that's why we brought Mr. Pauly, because he is the one who can win those headers, and Luigi can hopefully get in uh, in the way of things. Old guy up, plays that one across to uh, right. Let's just go attacking straight off the bat here, Jason towards uh, Sola. Oh, nice play this by Valencia. They've worked it really well. Is it Jason? We're going to call him Jason. Does deliver it in, and uh, Yazabal gets there first. Right, chance to break now. David Silva. I've been playing a lot of European competitions uh, on the PS5. Actually, been uh, 
quite enjoyable look at this guy look at the ability the whole play is off and he feeds it out wide to Tavares takes on Jason nah I do like to try and take the AI on I think it's a little bit more realistic than just you know pass 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 no one's taking anyone on I mean come on players like to take each other on all the time all right Shereshev lovely turn by him he's got a good left peg hasn't he we well, can't get the ball off him he's still going Tavares just looking to hold him up Jose Gaia he's a good player cleared away comes back on the edge of the box fantastic challenge there Marino get a foot in Pacini Jason I know that's probably not how you say it don't get upset with me you'll be alright Daldia can you imagine though if I was you know on TV commentating and I came up with all these names <laughs> I wonder if the producers would say look Look, Ricky, you, you can't be making up names for players. I'm like, well, why not? It's a little bit more fun, and I'm sure they enjoy it than just, you know, doing nothing. If someone gave me a nickname, I'd be delighted. Anyway, here is Gudez. It's a good start by Valencia here. Marino's just going to stay with the man in the box. Gudez once more does fire it towards the near post off the crossbar. And, oh, that's a let-off. That is a let-off. All right, big man. Okay, it's it's feeling very grandma pace right now. Come on, lads, pick it up. We're looking very sluggish. But the form's not there. And I told you, when the form's not there, the players are half asleep. All right, Luigi's going to get there. Oh, ref elbow to the face. Now, huh? He just elbowed me. And you get the foul? Oh, yeah, Luigi's confused. So it's going to be uh, Dicabi to uh, launch it forward. He has a man with a comfortable header. Luigi flicks it on. Let's feed that one back to no one. I do that often, don't I? And now we've got problems. Where's the goalie going? Where's the goalie? I, I, I thought he was just going to kick it. Apparently I took control of him. I don't know. That worked out just about. But it could have been very, very brutal. Uh, as Carlos Soler is going to take this corner. He's certainly going to deliver it in. He's gone near post. Another header and Valencia all over us here. Nice little net sound there. That's the ball hit the back of the net. That's what they need to introduce. Konami, put some net sounds in PES 2022, please. It, it sounds beautiful. Now, next week, I may, I very well may stream some Euro action on the PS5. There probably won't be a camera of my face just because I don't have a PS5 camera, but... I'm very tempted to do it. I've been enjoying playing on the PS5. I think it, it, it's much more of a responsive game than uh, than on, on on PC. But I also think that when you play the Euros, when you don't take team spirit into account, uh, we are all over the place here. And here's going to be the first chance for the goal. And it's a great save. No one's in the net. Yeah, we're having a bit of a mare right now. Um, my concentration levels are shocking. All right, that's fine. It's fine. We'll let them have the first goal as they do their little dabbly doo da. But yeah, you can't defend like that. That's shocking defending. Goalie did well here. And then it's just an open net and a free invitation. We're going to look to uh, fire it in. No, we're going to look to play it on the edge of the box for some reason. Not a great pass. Norman's going to pick up the loose ball if he gets there today. Tavares. Poke it through. David Silva. Anuchu. Luigi it's a congregation in the middle poke it through there it is the big man oh he's done well lay it back David Silva oh where was that flying back to Tavares and into the arms of Sillison that's better a little bit more patience there oh that's risky by the goalie Normans the Yazabal Tavares Luigi back towards him right now big man are you in there you're gonna have to get in there there you are your chance difficult 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 to score a header from there so this might actually dish this out to us uh that's a risky ball i don't know why the ai do that i really don't know why they do that it's uh it's always it's always a, a free gift all right now cut that back there we go and there it is ah, and that should have been the equalizer giant yeah, I think we're going to have to play maybe a 4-3-3. Oh, here we go. Oh, Gaia, you lucky boy. You lucky boy. Oh, that's a loose pass. Luigi now with a chance. 
I do enjoy Luigi. He's an absolute beast. Here he goes. Still going. Now poke it through. Luigi. <sighs> Needs to be a better ball than that. Valencia were just daydreaming. And they got a chance here now. Final chance of the half. We're into stoppage time nearly. Don't want to concede now. Let's get it out. No, no. Don't concede now. Blind. All right, Carlos Sola, last chance of the half. 100%, no more chances after this. All right, David Silva. All right, ref, just blow it now. Don't give him another free shot. Don't let him do it. All right, and that's going to be half time. Right, I don't know if we go 4-3-3 here. We may, we may switch it up. Luigi on the left, big man through the middle and uh, see what we can do. All right, so we brought on the one and only Mr. Porto. Here's his chance to shine. Singali's come off. Not really doing a whole lot for me. So we're going to go 4-3-3. We're going to be playing with false wingers. I think someone recommended me this. Said, you know, give that a bash because it's going to pinch in the wingers. Uh, and that's going to enable pretty much the fullbacks to get forward. So, um, yeah, let's see how this works, this half. I don't know. I've never really played with false wingers. So uh, I thought it'd be might interesting to try it today. As uh, Paul 2 picks it up. Want to see a little bit more from him, of course. I mean, look, if Paul 2 does the business, then we'll keep him. Anyway, here he is now. Chance to deliver. There it is. Surely. Oh, he's missed it. Luigi. Oh, you twat. He's in the way. <sighs> what a Moby. What are you doing on the floor, Nacho Aduachu? But yeah, if we have the big man in uh, through the middle in this match or this half, I think, yeah, we should be able to create. As uh, well, Marino has seen the run here of Port 2. And look at the space he has. Feed it inside. Now feed it off. Now feed it through. It's lovely. Oh, it's a chance. And I had the analog stick the wrong way. Never try and score from that type of angle. I mean, you've got to literally hold your hand like you're trying to, I don't know, signal for a bus to try and score but nice play better start poor two. Oh dear oh dear oh dear inside David Silva back to Marino he has about I said go on get forward there you go we know what this guy's capable of absolute animal in the air well not in the air well we'll just go this ourselves then great defending by Valencia I mean this is where they got to use the brain like close him down you know Yazabal wants it. But look at Valencia. I mean, they're, they're, they're happy, aren't they? They're happy with it. So they're just going to sit back and let us have possession. And it's all about us, whether we can uh, break through here. The Yazabal. David Silva. Come on, mate. Absolutely shocking. I really want him to do the double touch, but sometimes they like doing the no touch. Now we've got issues. Ball up the line and they're in. Tavares against Jason. And that's gone near post. Oh! Ho, ho. Romero was pretty confident that he was just going to pluck that one. But he didn't pluck anything. Good Lord, that was very, very fortunate. Look at him, he's ready to pick it up. Picked up nothing. All right, we've brought on Munoz, taken off Tavares. He's looking tired now with the old stamina. But we still need to wake up a little bit. All right, so we've got 20 minutes, 20 minutes to salvage something here. Oh, 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 oh Luigi. Oh, Luigi. Yeah, the form is just not great, and this is where it becomes difficult. Like, there'll be some matches where I'm, I'm loving the game, and I'm like, yeah, the lads feel fantastic, but it's because of the form, as you guys know. Then there'll be other matches where I'm dreadful because the players feel like, a, you know, a tin pot. But, yeah, we're going for a 4-4-2 now, so let's see what happens. Right, this is it. The big man's in there. Instead, we're looking for Yazabel. Oh, wasn't a bad header, but I would have preferred it if you volleyed it, mate. But we're going to play a 4-4-2. Keep switching formations, but that's what I'll have to do, right? Look at this. Look at this. Give it back to Luigi. Who's in the box? Fires it high. All right, nod that to there. That'll do. And it's Marino. Why didn't I just go closer? I got excited. I got excited. Sometime, ooh, Valencia are looking shaky. But this is going to be a big win for Valencia if they can hold on. And a really disappointing performance from us if we can't get anything out of this. And that's going to go out of play. But there's just no one to bring on. Am I going to bring on Izek? Is he going to do anything for me? I'd rather keep the big man on right now because if there's, if there's anything, there's more, more chance of us winning a header in the box and causing problems that way. Oh, no, no, no. Get it out. Don't wait for it. Well done, poor two. It's not the best clearance. Sol out. 
Get a foot in, lads. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Vice needs to come off, doesn't it? Oliva lays it square. Solid back towards it. Now suddenly Valencia start to play. Should have chef lost it. No, he's won it. Referee says play on. Gaia. I mean, Gaia's a good player. What am I picking him up as a good left back? But it's quite expensive, isn't it? Can't get a ball off him, lads. Make a challenge. All right, let's go, go, go. Gadgets. Munoz. The Yazabal. Give it back to him. No, give it to Anachi. Feed him back. There we go. Right, who's in the box? Well, he's got a lot of work to do, hasn't he? No, we're going to have to start this again. Overlap. The Yazabal. Plenty of players to choose from. Oh, it was a tasty little ball. That's a risky pass. Comes back to Port 2. Uh, I don't know where to go with it. Marino. David Silva. Anacho. Oh, just that final pass. I'll take a draw now, lads. I'll take a draw at this point in the game. It's going to be a bit of a disappointment. If we end up dropping points, not just dropping points, but losing this game. Can't even make a change right now because no one's going off. Right, poor two, you're going to have to go down the wing. No, you're going to telegraph it if you do that. All right, Vaisa, keep going. There you go, that's the ball. Now, has to be a good delivery. It's towards Luigi. Oh, try to flick it on. Edge of the box is an option. Marino! Mm. Moby. All right, last change. Um, got us ball. Final five minutes. David Silva says to Luigi, how's that for a pass? Luigi says, not bad at all. Okay, thanks you AI for completely stopping running. I, I can't stand when they do that. You asked them to make the run, but it's still never been fixed by Konami. It's still never been fixed. Absolute joke of a game when that happens. Ref, that's late. That's late. That's from behind. It's filthy. It's dirty. And it's not even a yellow. All right, come on, David Silva, go, 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 here we go, lay it back, beautiful, Marino, do we shoot this, do we shoot it, no, we lay it off, a Yazabal dinks it over the top, and we'll take a corner, come on, boys. All right, this is it, this is the moment we've all been waiting for, I don't know if we flick it on, or we just go for the header. Oh, we're going to do the flick on, it's got to be done, right, come on, win it, oh, he's, he's even won the header, he hasn't even won the header, the one time, we need him to win the header. Doesn't even win it. Nanachu. Get in the box, lads. Nanachu, run away from him. <sighs> what do we do? Play it back. Marino. I want a foul. That's what I want. David Silva. That's a lovely pass. Feed it back. <sighs> yeah, you can pound the full in frustration. Da -da 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 -da. But you've got to put the ball in the back of the net. This is a lovely pass from Silva. It just fooled everyone and gets his blimmin' hands in the way. All right. Do we do it again? I think we might. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're going to have to do it again. I hope he wins it. I know you're knackered, mate. I know you're knackered. That's not even the best ball because he's so tired. Anyway, we're going to fire it in again. And that's a waste. Well, we've lost, ladies and gentlemen. Not good. Not good performance, that. We had chances, we had chances, but now Valencia are on the same points. Uh... So there we have it. Just because we're on Superstar, it doesn't mean we're going to win every game, okay? It's not going to happen. As I say, the form will make a big difference in what happens with it. There it is, 11 attempts to 9. We should have got a goal. We should have scored. Man of the match, anyway, was Mr. Gomez. So the other results, so Rabatis drew 1-1. That helps us out. Barcelona did win. Atletico Madrid. Cool, blimey. Did they show up? They lost to Deportivo Alaves. 4-0. Uh, Villarreal drew 1-1. Sevilla did win. Nah. Um, Iber won 1-0. Getafe lost. Huesca drawing and Real Madrid drawing as well. So, look at the top of the table. Cool, blimey. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? 59, 59, 59. Uh, then you've got a 13-point gap between Real Madrid and Sevilla. We're now six points behind Sevilla, and we drop down to eighth place. Not good. Anyway, let's move now into uh, match day, what is that, 26? As we are plodding along as our winning streak comes to an end. It was going to happen. That was going to happen at some point. 
Uh, let's have a look at the form today. Uh, it's not good again, is it? Well, Illa Mendy's up for it. <sighs> All right, well, we're going to go for Luigi Izek, I guess. I don't know still if I want to go with Diamond 442 or go 433. Hmm. Uh, let's have a think. Five minutes later. All right, so we're going to go, yeah, considering the, the, the players that we have available, I think a 442. You know, a 444, that's not going to work. Uh, a 442 diamond uh, will have to do today. And I think today will be better. There's more balance in the middle. You've got Illa Remendi, who's a, a, an anchor man. He's a big plus when we have him there. We've got an orchestrator with the Remendi. We've got a box to box with Marino. And then we've got a creative playmaker. So we've literally got four different roles there, which is going to help. Izek and Luigi will be up top. Uh, Dupe comes back. He should be a big help. Grosso going to be on the right today. Tavares on the left. We're going to rest Weiser uh, and go from there. And uh, no David Silva because he's down today. So there we have it. There's a look at Elche. They're playing a 3-4-3. This will be a very open game, I feel. We're going to play quite stretched just because they're not really playing, you know, two centre forwards. Uh, where are they lying in the table? Let's have a quick gander. They are lying in 15th place, 12 defeats this season. So we would be favourites here. We definitely will be favourites. Hopefully we'll do the business. That Valencia game just didn't do well half asleep anyway let's dive into it let's pick the kits they will be wearing the white and we'll go for the black perfecto i will see you guys there let's dive into it so we're at the martinez velero it's brilliant listening to the other tunes, though. All right, that'll do. All right, here we go. Let's get this one underway. Hopefully we play better. I really am going to crank up in this game. I'm going to show you guys how to play proper football. Uh, but, you know, you're probably saying, well, why didn't you buy anyone through the transfer window? Look, I really want to do a proper playthrough on Master League where I grow a team. I'm always buying players willy-nilly. That's ridiculous if that goes in. Are you having a laugh, Keeper? Just pick it up, mate. It's a bicycle kick from 50 yards. But yeah, I really want to have, you know, there's a lot of youth in this side, which I like. And I want to really see how well we can do um, with the youth that we have. So, you know, that's really the game plan. All right, watch this for a ball. Absolute belter. Is that he's offside? It would have been Luigi, but yeah, he was offside there. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. You know, it's it's all about growth, progression. We don't have anything to base our first season off yet because the first season hasn't finished, but right now it's not been great. As Marino finds uh, absolutely no one there with a poor pass. Here is Guti. Uh-oh, we've got problems. We are playing quite a high line today. I've, I've said I'm, I'm not messing about. I'm not messing about. All right, Ilan Mendy. Is that a smart ball? No, it's a stupid pass. Come on, Ricky. You said you're going to show you to play football. We're playing some terrible passes. All right, let's go. Zubamendi. Inside to Erramendi. Finding Marino. Space for Tavares. Nice play. There you go. Luigi says, I'll have it out the line if you want, mate. Perfect. Luigi goes it alone. Cut it back. Lovely pass in here. Yazabal. Diop with a good header. Guti's missed it. Luigi says, I'll take it. Then I'll uh, fake you out. Then I'll start again. Then I'll lose it. Then they'll have a deflection. And Illa Remendi will pick it up. Izek wants it. Finds Luigi. Oh, fractions away. They are giving up some space here. Diop, lovely header. Luigi again. Marino. Tavares. Near post. Luigi! Love the net sounds. Love the goal. Love that man there, but not as much as I love that man there. And that will do nicely. That's more like it, isn't it? You know, we're playing a side that's playing a 3-4-3. They're going to be very vulnerable down the wings. Um, it's a smart play. Drilled near post. Look at the run by Luigi outside of the boot. Straight into the bread basket. Uh, Diop finding Il Remendi. Space for Ayazabal. Marino. See, this is what you can do. Watch, ready? roundabouts just hold him off it's all about the roundabouts unless if you live in America you don't really know what a roundabout is alright Tavares space inside here Yazabout lovely Izek 
Back to the Yazabal. Flicks it on. Luigi! Oh, what have been a lovely goal. What are they doing? What are they doing? Absolute couple of Mobies. <laughs> I don't know what the AI does sometimes. It always cracks me up. Let's launch this one into Luigi. What's happened there? This fell on his bum. Marino. Lovely play. Oh, I went for the old double touch. Cleared away to Tavares. All over them right now. Swing it all the way around to Garosable. Feeds it inside. Dubamendi. Ah, I was going to lay it. All right, Izek wants it to the feet. Lovely. Izek, quick turn. Little fake. Half a yard. Garosable drills it in. Luigi! Oh, come on, lads. You're working it well. You just needing that little bit of good fortune but it really does help to have Ida Mendy on form you know Dubba Mendy oh that's a loose one oh he's X there All right straight through the middle that's the ball uh, oh my goodness me that would have been some finish he was sliding on the turf yeah I do think we've got to stick with this formation I, I honestly find that we create the most like this I mean the Valencia game I, I, that's the problem I change formations when I feel like I'm not creating but of course, today we're taking on a lesser side. Oh, he has about. So, yeah, you, you've also got to take into account who you're playing, who your opponent is. I mean, if you're playing a team that's very quick, you don't... I mean, I'm playing a very high line today. You wouldn't want to play that against the likes of Barcelona because, yeah, they're probably going to carve you wide open. Got us about Lovely. He has about Luigi! Come on! Get the ball in the net, lads. Yazabao again, flicks it off. It's Yabamendi! And the referee has brought it back for the foul. Or it's their foul. Which way? No, it's their foul. Of course it is. Makes no logical sense because I'm the one who had the shot. He's fouled me. Yet you get the foul? Hmm. There's Diop. Right, we're going to go more attacking now. It's time to crank it up to an absolute 10. All right, Tavares, Marino, Thubamendi. One, two's on. Ref caught him. Ref doesn't believe in fouls. It's a nice pass. Tavares. Back heel. Back to him. Back inside again. He has about. Lays it off. Thubamendi. Give that to the feet there of Izek. Got some space and time. Lovely turn. And. I'm not happy with being just a 1-0 here they're still in this game as long as it's 1-0 what's the run through reverse ball's a good idea stay with him well done to you that's quality mate I love to see it right Izek have we got a chance for a quick counter well we got Luigi through the middle but he's looking for Yazabal now he finds Luigi goes round the goalie bam Woo! That's what it's all about. His father says, that's the way, son. That's the way. We should actually check when his birthday is, to be honest. A little bit of a celebratory uh, birthday party. He's coming into his own, Luigi. Starting to play. This will start from his egg. Lovely pass. He has about here. Times it to perfection, didn't he? Once the goal he was going to commit, you always go around him. He's all over the place. And that's 2-0. So we'll make two changes. Uh, we'll bring on Weisser and uh, Guevara for Marino. Well, the rain is falling in Spain. The rain is coming down. Luigi has decided he is going to have a go from this distance. Because that's what you do. Oh! Ho -ho! If that went a little bit that way, you never know where it could have gone. Anyway, is a chance for the corner. Um, you know what we're going to do here? We're going to go six-yard box. And I kind of want to see... I wonder if we could just fire this into Luigi and let it run through the legs. Let's try this, see if the AI know what to do. Into Luigi. Through the legs! Go on! Oh, it did work as well. He just didn't shoot the ball when I asked him to shoot it. And we've got the final five minutes to play. It's amazing how the game changes so much when the rain comes down. It's an absolute snail's pace. I mean, Luigi's knackered now. He needs to come off. Here he is. No, he's not there. It's got a little bit scrappy, hasn't it? It's got a little bit scrappy doodah uh, this second half. So we'll nod that back to uh, Ramiro. But hey, we're going to get the three points, it looks like. And at the end of the day, that's all we're worried about. We wanted to pick up those three points just to make sure. 
that we try and keep pace with the likes of Sevilla. Ball over the top. Nice, nearly, nearly went the wrong way there. Ramiro, long clearance. Isaac, lovely header. Luigi's there. Luigi is there. We're going around the goalie again. And Rev could just shoot the ball. Oh, he wouldn't shoot. I'm trying to go around the goalie for another time and, and grab him a hat trick. I'm a little bit annoyed now that we haven't got a hat trick out of that. Should have shot it and scored. Ah, Luigi. Need to work on that, mate. Here is Sanchez. Final minutes. Starts again. Swung around two fit out. Referee looks at the watch. And blows for full time. So there we have it. We lost at home. And then we won away from home. Although, you know, two different opponents, two different styles. But a win's a win, ladies and gents. Uh, and we managed to do what we needed. There's a shot count. One attempt to 11. So Elche did not have a single shot in the second half. Uh, and yeah, the second half was a little bit more dull than the first. The man of the match was the Italian. So the other results, we're going to hope that Sevilla lost. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Levante winning against Valencia. Love to see that. Real Batiste did beat Barcelona. Uh, Alaves winning 2 0. Villarreal winning as well. Sevilla drew. Love to see that. Uh, Athletic Club drew as well. Huesca drew. Real Valladolid drew. And Atletico Madrid drew to Real Madrid. So all draws. Wow, that's a first. There you go. So after match day 26. There's a look at the table. Atletico Madrid top now. Real Madrid second. Barcelona third. Sevilla are fourth. We are now four points behind Sevilla in seventh place. Three points ahead of Valencia. Levante have given themselves a chance. Look at them now. Up to 18th. Uh, they've actually won a few back-to-back -back games. Exciting times for them. All right, so we're going to return for the next episode. Cadez on the cards. Likewise, Espanyol. And then... We are heading into a whopper of a match as we take on the Napolia. That's how we call them. Uh, in the Europa League round of 32. So stay tuned for that one. That's going to be a big, big match. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below. As always, we shall return. I know we didn't buy anyone today, but as I said, I want to give this team a chance. I want to really see what the young lads can do. And I think on Superstar, we have a better chance of growing the players than getting our ass beat non-stop on Legend. But we'll get there. We'll get there. So until next time, subscribe for more. Hopefully England won. Uh, and take care.